And I want to say this, first thing I felt impressed to write down was, um, Brother Gipp and I were talking about this today, uh, neither one of us have ever seen a Christian cult before. Have you? I mean, you think of a cult, you think of the Mormons, you think of the Jehovah's Witnesses and all these kind of things, the Moonies. Who ever heard of a bunch of genuine, genuinely saved men? And I think a lot of these guys are lost, but I think more of them are saved than, than are lost that are, that are literally wrapped up and going full steam ahead as a bona fide cult. Who ever heard of saved, a saved cult? Talking about Stephen Anderson, of course. Can I tell you, what, <laughs> I just thought of this in the, uh, the pew here, and I kind of asked the Lord if I could use it. He said, go ahead. Uh, I, I feel impressed to tell you what my, impre- what my attitude is about Stephen Anderson. Where's the camera at? How you doing? Wherever you are. Uh, I'll give you my opinion, of my attitude about him. Now, I wasn't always as spiritual as I am now. I mean, many years ago, I got backslidden and saw Braveheart one time, okay? But I asked God to forgive me. Some of you probably saw it too. If you saw it, I want to direct your memory banks to the scene when King Longshanks was up there talking to his, you know, his little sissy son, and his son's a boyfriend was there. Remember that? And, 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 and the little the sodomite boyfriend jumps in and says something to the king, and the king doesn't even turn to him. And he says, who is this that thinks I need his advice? Wouldn't even look at him. That's how I think about that cockroach. For what it's worth, that's free. Now, for my introduction to this message, I want to tell you exactly how we have arrived at this place or this time in the age of the end of Laodicea where we have a full-blown Christian cult terrorizing many within the body of Christ. I just preached for uh, Brother Lefebvre. Where are you at? Where are you at? Brother Lefebvre, just, we were just talking the other day. You had about eight of those morons in your church not long ago trying to pick your people out of there. Every time we go all over the country, we find this happening. Can I tell you how we got here? I want you to pay. I want you to think about the first of the two text verses we read. Listen carefully and get a blessing. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Not my people are destroyed for the presence of error, but for the lack of knowledge. Now I'm going to make a little startling statement here. I need, by the way, I think 90% of the preachers in this room are on the right page for what we believe here. That's good. But thank the Lord we're on the uh, Facebook and all these crazy electronic things now. We can at least get the message to a whole lot of people. And I'm, I'm addressing this to a lot of folks out there that are, you know, that, that, that wouldn't be caught dead in here, but they'll watch over on the, on the screen. And it's like when I preached the, that's my famous message, Shibboleth, at Crown College. I didn't go in there to blast that school. They were, it was being broadcast live on the Internet. There's got to be 15, 20, 30 uh, Bible colleges around the country. And I made the point to say, this message is directed to all the student bodies in all these Bible colleges. If your teachers say they believe the King James Bible, better make sure they really believe what they say. I wasn't blasting the school. And sure enough, you're the folks here. This is friendly territory here. So I'm making this statement more to the, the TV crowd out there. Here's my opening statement. Put your big boy panties on. That's my opening statement, as spiritual as that sounds. Because if you don't have them on, you're not going to be able to survive this message. 1 Timothy 5.17 says, Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. Now, I said in this introduction, I'm going to tell that fundamental world out there how we've come to the place where a Christian cult that believes as many nutty things as they do can be making such headway across the country. 